Welcome! It's time for a new pro match breakdown where I will show you the secret tips, tricks and strats that the pros use that you can start using yourself straight away to win more matches in Rainbow Six Siege. I also want to say a big thanks to all my new subscribers. I'm so happy that you all enjoy my videos and if you don't already subscribe please hit subscribe here below so you don't miss any of my upcoming guides just like this one. Today I'm looking at the Omnius vs Onslaught Pro League match that was played on March 28, 2017. And with that, let's get right into tip number one. Get another shot straight away. See if this is played into their hand or not. Ominous, were you expecting them to go to the same location? Are you okay with bringing these attacking operators to this upper floor? Or will this have thrown a spanner in the works? Double rotate holes made into freezer here. And you see, this is what I was talking about with Talon before. Both mirror windows next to each other. One will likely be opened. Well, they, one in the toilet. they have those unreinforced walls next to them, so I'm guessing yeah. that maybe the plan is... You could open one, but I think maybe the plan is just to shoot through the wall. We'll see what they do. This is such a smart play. I just love this one. You have the double with reinforce with mirrors on them, so you can go out like this, protect the cigar. Both good if you're holding upstairs or if you're holding down in train. And then they have some nice details to it that I really enjoyed. You usually have this hole, so you can go in between. That's obvious. But they also had one more back here because if you start to get the pressure from here if you start shooting out through the door here then you just can back off and escape this way and they also had this hatch reinforced because if you don't have that the defenders can easily lob out grenades from here up to you so if you want you can have this open as an escape route but it's a bit dangerous because they can throw up grenades at you and then they had this wall reinforced also, just so they can not shoot you straight through the window here, out in the in your back. So some very f nice details on this play, very useful both for defending upstairs and train. Simply being the uh, freezer wall, because a lot of teams have realized if you open up that freezer wall, the defenders have a hard 90 degree angle to hold on you to pretty easily well, hold the top floor. This is a very nice angle coming out here for BKN's glass. Out on this tower, which rarely gets used, he's got a wow. hole into reading room yeah. and then a hole into laundry as well. So you it's a very off, long sight line. Cut off so much of the map here with this. This was a beautiful play that I've never seen before. He just went up here from the river docks. And up here. He just shot his way all the way through here. As you can see, this goes straight into through reading and into laundry and this is how it looks see straight through this wall and in this wall and why he did this is two reasons one is because reading is a very important rotation route where you often have defenders trying to rotate quickly and when you ha have this you cut them off totally they can't go rotate here when you have glass out there so he denies that he also denied them the rotation from this drop down because he did this when they were defending up here and defenders usually have they did not in this round but usually they have their this one open for rotation if they get pressured so if you drop down from this hatch when defending you're going to land right here as you can see and then glass will simply pick you off so this was a very smart play to deny the defenders rotation, denying the defenders an escape route. So very smart play. I a train pick. Yeah, there's no reinforcements other than in that B side to be used or blown. You see, this is how it looks for the attackers when coming down the red stairs. They've opened up the entire part of this wall. And when you're coming down, the defenders will see your feet before you see them. Same thing when you're coming from down here. You can't see the mirror and then when you come up here it's too late. And when you have the double mirrors it's very effective you can either have both closed or you can have one open if you have one open you can go like this and you're much more protected since the rest of the wall is reinforced you're only exposing a tiny bit of yourself when going out so this way they're trying to cut them off so and trying to get them not to choose to go this way then they had the other four people were playing outside the objective they had two up upstairs and two out in reading so very nice defensive play when playing on train because you don't want to get trapped with your team inside this small room when the entire of this roof is the buck can just open up everything fuse can open up here so very smart play on a hard objective 
Oh, but he peeked up because they were peeking elsewhere. The uh, the other I can't remember the other off here. Mm -hmm. But they he, they timed a they timed a dual peek. peek. They wanted to right. get a crossfire on and try and pick people off. Now they've been droned, so Ominous were ready for it. The the castle he he went to push and went to flank into office because two teammates are down. He has to try and do something. His turning around and running away was because there was a drone sitting there right in front of him as he came through the wall. He there went is, out yeah, the wall and went. There's oh, there's a drone. Crap! Shoot it and. I've been spotted, so but I when you're away. exposed, uh, when you're okay, so when you're exposed at that angle, like you moving in the same angle that you're exposed to is not gonna shooting out the lower part of the wall is very useful in certain locations in these games, and this is a perfect example because if you're coming in here as an attacker and you see this, you can't, you know that if someone is peeking there, you can't see them. See, so you have to basically go like this and. Crawling into someone pe peeking that angle is a bad idea. They will shoot you before you see them. So this is a very nice play because you can sit way back here and just wait for them to come and just shoot them in the feet or if they're trying to crawl into you. So very nice and since you have it multiple angles, you see everything here is open. They don't really know where to look, so this is a very nice play to open up this lower part of the walls here. Partic or this particular office take, that is. And we'll see how it shapes. They haven't actually reinforced the other bombsite wall. The A wall that we normally see Thermite mm -hmm. there hasn't been reinforced at all here by Onslaught. So we'll see if they find that out and change anything about it. But they were waiting for these peaks to head Patience. on up. BC and BK are picking up the first two kills. They're like When attacking towards Armory, if you're going to go for offices, you will usually have one defender sleeping up here. He will jump up here, go on the cons computer screen and sit here. Because he gets a very good view of our officers can hold both this door, if they breach here, or this window. So it's a very flexible spot. And to go in here as an attacker and jump in can be deadly because that's a very good spot. So what they did, because they knew they were playing that spot, you can sit way down here, very covered behind everything. Just wait for him to peek with glass near thermal scope. He will shine so bright it's an easy kill. And you're as long as you communicate with your teammates, you don't have any runouts. This is you're so you're safe here. So just communicate with your team so you get don't get runouts on you. Wait for him to peek and just pick him off. And if you've done that once, he will stop using that position. He will not peek there anymore. And by doing that. You get to kill the first time, and then the next time you took away a very important defensive position for him. Team pick uh, train first, and we stopped one pe uh, team pick upstairs. For a second. It was the onslaught who picked up uh, upstairs, and ominous who picked train. Um, but it, pretty much exclusively on this map, everyone just goes armory first. I have seen maybe once a team go ventilation the first round, and I think it was in the European. This is a pretty interesting play where they're playing very hard on security through, because if the attacker's going to get, go through this wall towards A which they have left unreinforced just like this, just opening the bottom part they need to clear the security room first so that they can, don't get shot in the back and they play with a lot of guys in here and they had castle over on the window, they have the drop downs open and they have a very nice spot over here they reinforce this wall as you can see this is the hallway so they won't get shot straight through the hallway if they get drone and then they open up a small hole here peeking towards that door so that's a very nice peek, hard for the attackers to, to handle. But what backfired on this tactics, what, they wasn't even going for this one. They went through offices, so they were left here. So what they did then was throw impact here, trying to save the situation, and got an angle in this way. So, very nice play to hold security. Unfortunately for, for us now, when seeing this tactic, we can really see how it worked for them because they didn't go security. But I, I really enjoyed this one. This is a nice spot cam they will then just open up the floor and shoot the anchors so Buck starts making some holes in the wall to give an angle in towards lockers solves has to fall back now because of it bkn using his rifle to make some holes in the walls and give him another angle in towards lockers as well himself See when you're attacking your rifle is better at long distance than the defenders that's true in almost every case so you always want to have as long as possible between you and the defender because their shotguns and small SMGs and so on are not as powerful on long range. Now I'm glass, but even the other one, if you have for example, in this case, you have Buck. His rifle is very powerful on long range. So when he went here for offices, 
instead of going here and peeking them at a shorter angle, he has used what he can do with his buck when he opens up big holes in the wall. So he just open up and this way he gets a much longer line of sight and can use the the strength of his rifle on long distance to his advantage. So very smart play is to think of this when you move around the map. Where can I open this up? Because you don't want to get too close to the defenders when you have the advantage on longer ranges with your rifle. That's it for this time. I will soon be back with a new video so don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss that.